According to Hughesman, it is estimated that 1.4 kg per person per year of e-waste is generated in Ghana. Over 43,000 tons of e-waste is expected to be generated by the end of 2019. Sodom and Gomorrah, also known as Abogloshi in Accra, Ghana, is considered one of the worst polluted sites in the world. This is because the sector is dominated by informal hands whose operations are not regulated in any way. These recovery practices highly pollute the environment and make it unsafe for humans and other animals. The operations of these informal people are mostly traced to Abogloshi in Accra and Swami in Kumase. Available data by the Environmental Protection Agency EPA, indicate that about 121,800 to 201,600 people in Ghana are dependent on e-waste collection or recycling for their livelihood. In March 2019, the German government in partnership with the Ministry of Environment, Science, Technology and Innovation commissioned three projects at Old Fadama, located in the Agbogloshi enclave in Accra, to strengthen the capacity of scrap dealers. The project, which includes a technical training center to equip scrap dealers with the knowledge and the skills to dismantle electronic waste in an environmentally friendly manner, held post on a football pitch, which was transformed from a dam site by Zoomland Ghana Limited and Partners is the first phase of a comprehensive electronic waste management project. Heavy acidic gas of smoke below across the Agbogloshi Dump, a wasteland dotted with burning mounds of trash in Ghana's capital, Accra. Up to 10,000 workers weighed through tons of discarded goods as part of an enormous informal recycling process in what has become one of the world's largest destinations for used electronic goods. Due to the adverse effect on the lives of residents living in Sodom and Gomorrah and livestock, the pragmatic strategy Zoomland Ghana has adopted will see to the construction of electronic waste hubs across the country. The e-waste facilities will have the capacity to recycle about 0.5% of the total tonnage of waste managed at the Integrated Recycling and Compost Plant, Iricop, and the Kumasi Compost and Recycling Plant, KCAP, summing up to 400 tons and 600 tons daily when completed. Some benefit from this initiative will see to the creation of over 10,000 direct and indirect jobs, stave off tonic emissions in Sodom and Gomorrah, and promote healthy and cleaner environment, among others.